guys, this is Migs and welcome back to another vlog. First of all, I want to say hello to everyone. It's been a while since I've uh, posted the last video. And um, again, I want to thank uh, everybody who has subscribed to my channel. And if you're new to my channel and if you haven't subscribed yet, please, 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 please subscribe. And don't forget to like and share the videos. And if you enjoy, please uh, give us a thumbs up. And uh, on the comment uh, section, you can also ask questions or you can make any suggestions of any videos that you want me to create. Actually, um, I've been working, so that's why it's, um, it's very hectic, the schedule. So my videos are very less uh, nowadays and also because of... Uh, the pandemic so it's not really um, easy to travel around here in pakistan for example if you want to go like uh, out of town so it's it's not that easy um anyways so i have total of 350 subscribers at the moment so for the, my 350 subscribers thank you very much for watching my videos and please don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified if i have any new videos right so on this video to, for today you will see how i make puto puto is a filipino typical filipino dish it's a uh, it's a steam cake so it's uh, we use steam to make this uh, this uh, sweet dish and uh, we eat it as snack we eat it for breakfast or yeah anything any time of the day you can you can have it so um because i miss filipino food so i tried to create my own version of puto and since i don't have a steamer in he over here in pakistan it's not easy to find this uh, kind of tools or like steamer it's it's not really available in the market and even if you find one it's gonna be um, a bit pricey so i used uh, an improvised steamer so i will also show you how to make an improvised steamer on this video so once again i hope you like this video so watch this right so now. for the dry ingredients uh, we have one cup of uh, all-purpose flour half cup of sugar, one tablespoon of baking powder, one piece of egg, butter. So I mixed first all the dry ingredients. So in a bowl, you put the flour, the sugar and the baking powder so in this uh, you just mix all your dry ingredients together just mix them gently with the whisk after that you have all the dry ingredients ready now it's time to show you the wet ingredients so on the wet ingredients we have water so one cup of water and half cup of milk now gently mix this together so the dry ingredients and the wet ingredients you mix them gently the melted butter which is uh, two tablespoons i put also one teaspoon of vanilla and then i already put the egg which is one piece of egg now mix again Mix, 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 mix. 
Now, for the steamer, for the improvised steamer, what you can do is if you have like a big pot of uh, cooking pan, cooking pot, just fill fill that with water, like um, let's say half or one fourth water. It depends on how big is your cooking cooking pot. And in the middle, you put or you use like a stainless uh, bowl. Also fill water inside so it will not move or shake in the middle. And then uh, I put also like a, a plate, like a stainless plate also. So that would be like the, where I will put the mold when the water is boiling already. So you prepare that, put the water and then boil the water. So once it's boiling, then you can already put your puto butter inside. So with the with the pot we have, I can only put uh, four puto mold. So yeah, this is it. So I put my first batch of puto. So the cooking time will take about 10 minutes. So if you want to check uh, in between, yeah, you can have a look. Then if you want to try uh, if your puto is cooked, so they say the trick is if you take a, a toothpick or yeah, a, a stick or a toothpick, uh, if you put it or you know, if you stick it on your puto, if there's no, nothing is stick on the, if the, the, the toothpick comes out clean, so it means your, your puto is already cooked. So yeah, so in this... Uh, ingredients that I prepared I think I almost made like 24 pieces of it so that was nice it's tasty it's soft it's yummy the puto is good to eat for breakfast for merienda or snack any time of the day so it's also the first time my my family here in Pakistan have tried it like my my mother-in-law and the uh, my brother-in-law and also his wife tried it and they liked it and also of course my husband liked it so that's it guys i hope you like this video and uh, keep watching my videos please don't forget to subscribe and please share our videos yeah that's it stay safe everyone thank you for watching bye bye that's it guys so that's the end of the video i do hope uh, you enjoyed uh, watching it and i hope i am helpful or my video is uh, gonna help you on how to make your own version of puto and uh, i hope it's also tasty because yeah if you follow this video i'm sure you're gonna make a tasty puto and um, and also i wanted to share so we have a a website uh, that my husband is working on so he sells uh, kinds of uh, stuff or like t-shirts you know so the website will be here or the link will be here or maybe here <laughs> yeah it will be down here so please uh, check out this website and once again thank you for watching and we'll see you on the next one Bye.